In this video, I explain about differential manometers. In last few videos, we discuss about the simple manometers. In simple manometer, there is a four types are there: piezometers, U-tube manometer, single column manometers, and incline column manometers. In this simple manometer, we see this is the glass tube, and this glass tube is connected. Means glass tube have a two end. This is one end. This is the second end. So first end is connected to the point where the pressure is to be measured. This is the U-tube manometer. So one end is connected to the point where the pressure is to be measured, and the second end is open to the atmosphere. In a differential manometer, so from the word we can understand it is used to measure the difference of pressures. Okay, so now we can understand the differential manometers in the detail. Differential manometer are the device used for measuring the difference of pressure between two point in a same pipe or in a different pipe means in a differential manometers we use the one u shape glass tube and one end of this glass tube is connected to the point a and another end is connected to the point b so this differential manometer is indicate the difference of pressures between the point a and the point b a differential manometer is consist of a u tube containing heavy liquid was two ends are connected to the point was difference of pressure is to be measured the types of differential manometer are u tube differential manometers and inverted u tube differential manometers now we can understand in the detail these two types of differential manometer first one is the u tube differential manometer so in a figure the two point a and b are at the different level so we consider this image a in this image a the two pipe at different level means this point and point b are at the different level so this is the pipe a this is the pipe b means there is a two different pipe and in this two pipe we are measuring this difference of pressure between this two pipe and it's also contain liquid of different specific gravity means in this pipe a the specific gravity is different in a pipe b the specific gravity is different these points are connected to the u tube manometer let the pressure at the a and b are the pa and pb so here this pipe a and the pipe b are connected by using this u tube manometer pressure at the point a is the pa and the pressure at the point b is the pb let h is the difference of mercury levels so here we know that is the heavy liquid are used and as a heavy liquid we use the mercury so difference of mercury level is denoted by the h now next term is the y so from this image we can understand it is the distance between the point b to the mercury level in the right lip next is the x x is the distance of the center of a from the mercury level in a right lip so this is the distance x next is the rho 1 it is the density of liquid a rho 2 is the density of liquid b and the rho g is the density of this heavy liquid means the density of the mercury so first we derive this equation for two pipe at the different level then after we derive the two pipe at the same levels so taking the datum line at x x so this x x is considered as the datum so pressure of x x in a left lip means in a left lip that is a two pressure are there first pressure is the pressure pa and the pressure acting by this rho 1 liquid means the liquid a so density of this liquid is the rho 1 into g and what is the height here at the x x point the height is this height and this height means it is the x plus h so here it is written h plus x plus the pressure at the point a pressure of x x in a right lip means in this lip so here the three pressure are there at the point b some pressure are there it is the pb this liquid b is acting some pressure that is the rho 2 g into this height of this liquid b is the y and 
by the heavy liquid by mercury so density of the mercury is the rho g into g and height of the mercury in a right leaf is the h okay so here this summation of the three pressures are is acting in a right leaf now equating these two pressure we have getting some equations so this equation that is rho 1 g in bracket h plus x plus p a is equal to pressure in the right leaf means pressure in both the left leaf and the right leaf are same so we equating them so in a right leaf the pressure is rho g into g into h plus rho to g y plus p b and we know that differential manometer are used to measure the pressure difference at this two point and one point is the p a and another point is the p b okay so it is a p a minus p b so this p b is supplied on the left side then we get the equation p a minus p b and this term is supplied to the right side so we get this equation rho g into g h plus rho 2 into g y this step is supplied on the right side so it is the minus so it is minus rho 1 g in bracket h plus x now we use the second figure in this figure the two point a and b are at the same level so in this diagram we can see a and b are at the same level and contain the liquid of density rho 1 means in both the pipe the density of the liquid is same in earlier case what we consider in a point a that is a different liquids and point b that is a different liquid means density are different but here this density of the both the liquid are same and it is denoted by the rho 1 so pressure of x x in a right leaf so right leaf this word are used here we can see in this figure when it is convert in the same level so one term is neglect that is the y okay so here we maintain the x word that is from the in a right leaf the level of mercury to the level of a points okay so here the y term is equal to 0 or it is convert into the x terms so in a right leaf that is a three pressure are there one is the pb second is the rho 1 into g into x and by the mercury that is the rho g into g into h pressure of x x in a left leaf so that is a two pressure are there one is the pa and second by this liquid so it is a rho 1 g and this height is the h plus x now we equating these two pressure and we get these equations and we already know that differential manometer are used to measure the difference so equation is converted into p a minus p b and we get these equations now before moving towards the inverted youtube differential manometers i request to like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to the fluid mechanics and other subject of mechanical engineering for fmhm subject various link is provided in descriptions as well as in car for other subject i request to visit the playlist now second is the inverted youtube differential manometers means youtube differential manometer is rotated to the 180 degree then it is converted into the inverted youtube differential manometers but in a inverted youtube differential manometers instance of heavy liquid we need to use the light liquid because it is rotated then what happened the heavy liquid is supplied in this two pipe so here we need to use the light liquid so it is consist of an inverted u tube having the two ends are connected to the pipe at the point a and b was difference of pressure is to be measured as shown in a figure it is used for measuring the difference of low pressure means it is not used for the measuring the higher pressure it is used to measure the difference of low pressure let the pressure at a is more than the pressure at b so let h1 what is the h1 h1 is the height of liquid in a left leaf below the datum line xx means from the xx to the point a height is called as the h1 h2 is the height of liquid in a right leaf means we are calling about this liquid this is the light liquids h is the difference of light liquids in both the leaf so this is the h difference of light liquids rho 1 is the density of liquid at a rho 2 is the density of liquid at b and the rho s is the density of this light liquids p a is the pressure at point a p b is the pressure at b so pressure below datum line x x in a left leaf 
is the pa minus rho 1 g into h1 pressure below datum line xx in a right lip is the pb minus rho 2 gh2 this is the rho 2 gh2 minus rho s gh so value of both is the same so we equating this two pressure and we get this equation that is a pa minus rho gh1 is equal to pb minus rho 2 gh2 minus rho s gh and we already know differential manometer are used to measure the pressure difference so it is pa minus pb so this pb is supplied this side and this term is supplied on the right side so it is minus sign is converted into the plus signs so in this video we study about the differential manometer so we discuss about the two type of differential manometers that is the youtube differential manometers and inverted differential manometers so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to mechanical engineering and don't forget to share with your friends